hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be making chin chin in three different ways coconut chin chin chocolate chin chin and a chin chin shaped bowl so i'm going to start with the chocolate chin chin and for that we need flour unsweetened cocoa powder sugar and a bit of baking powder then we're just going to sift this and then add butter, mix it through till we have um, a crumb-like consistency or texture. So it should just be like breadcrumbs when, when you mix it through. The full list of ingredients will be in the description box, so please check it out if you're interested. Then I'm going to be making a hole and adding the egg and milk mixture then I'll gently incorporate it to form a dough at this point if your dough is too sticky you can add more flour just to make sure it forms a ball so I'm just going to be gently kneading this and then allowing it to rest for a couple of minutes And I'm going to flour my rolling pin and surface then just roll this to any shape you like I didn't want to do like the traditional chin chin shape so at first I used a cup to get like discs disc shaped and then later on I went in to pull the dough out into the chin chin shape this is just how I wanted the chin chin shape to look Feel free to do whatever you think you know works best for you, like the traditional chin chin shape. But this was just what I wanted. Next up is the coconut chin chin. For that, we're going to use flour, sugar, baking powder, and then mix in with a knob of butter till we get fine crumbs. So after we're going to make a hole, and then instead of just using ordinary milk, we're going to use coconut milk and egg. So we're going to use uh, mix in so it's a coconut milk and egg mixture so we're going to use that to form the dough to so just gently mix everything through so to get more of the coconut flavor we're going to be adding coconut flakes and then we gently knead the flakes into the dough just gently incorporate everything into it and you leave it to rest for a couple of minutes so after it has rested just flour your surface and the rolling pin and then cut the chin chin into any shape you like this is the way i like to cut my chin chin so yeah You bake this in the oven for about 40 minutes at 300 Fahrenheit. The last one is the chin chin bowl and for that we're just going to be using flour, sugar and a bit of nutmeg. You see that I forgot to add the nutmeg at first so I added it later on, just a dash of nutmeg. And then I just mixed in the butter as usual to get crumbs. And then make a hole and then add just milk. Because we want this chin chin to be 
hard and con- crunchy and you know to hold its shape we're not going to be adding baking powder or eggs so the next thing we're going to do is flour our work surface and flour the rolling pin as well and then just roll it till it's really flat then spray it with cooking oil and spray the bowl that's the bowl that we're going to be using to make the bowl the chin chin bowl so we're going to gently lift the dough and then place it on the oven um, oven safe uh, bowl that we're going to be using in the oven you can use any shape you like any bowl that you know has a different shape as long as it's oven safe so I'm just going to be gently pressing it down and I'll be cutting the edges with a knife. So as you can see, I'm just making sure that I'm pressing it down well so that the shape forms and it holds when it's in the oven. So I'll be baking this for about 45 minutes in a 300 Fahrenheit oven. This is how it came out. I allowed the chin chin bowl to cool down for about 15 minutes before I removed it from the bowl just so it doesn't break. The chocolate and the coconut flavors really came through for this um, chin chin and it came out so nice. Not too crunchy and not too soft, just the way I like it. You can put anything you like in the bowl. For me, I put um, two scoops of ice cream and I enjoyed it with the coconut and chocolate chin chin. And that's it people. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Share this video if you like it. Give me a thumbs up and follow my Instagram at busala underscore cooks. Till next time, bye.